name's Ada. And I'm Grace. We're your virtual museum guides. The reaction of the kids has been just phenomenal. <laughs> One of the things we're hearing from the staff at the Boston Museum of Science, where our virtual human museum guides are placed, is that uh, for some people, it is a literally a jaw-dropping experience. They come in, they see these, and they're just amazed. They're seeing things that they thought were science fiction and seeing it in reality. Whoa. Who wants to ask Adrian Grace a question? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is turquoise, and mine is white. The National Science Foundation saw this as a kind of project that would really transform the experience for people going to the museum. What you're actually seeing here is some science. With your help, we can suggest exhibits that will get you thinking or answer questions about things you may have seen here. They can also tell you a bit about themselves and how they work. The same way you ask a question or tell a story to your friends is the same way you can speak to us. We use speech recognition technology to identify your words and use statistics to figure out the meaning of the words based on context. Once we know what you're talking about, we'll reply appropriately. They can tell you things that would be of interest to middle schoolers, things like, do you have any boyfriends? Why? Is there another virtual human you think we should meet? I chose women because we wanted them to serve as role models to get young women more interested in the science and technology. Our namesakes are Ada Lovelace and Grace Hopper. Yeah, they may be old-fashioned names, but both are from the most modern computing women of their time. What we were trying to do with these virtual humans is create a thing that would stop the kids in their track. It seems like it's really working. I look forward to seeing you again. The Interfaces Project was made possible by the National Science Foundation, USC's Institute for Creative Technologies, the Museum of Science Boston, and visitors like you. You show off.